plan. These are, this is a, a call to faith of our, uh, a rallying of our faith communities, uh, searching for a voice, a common voice that we share in our concerns for issues of poverty in our city, and what are some concrete things that we call the city to do. In our faith communities, we, all, we are all connected back behind us into deep faith communities and, and we are deeply connected to our communities and we, uh, we have concerns that we bring to this place. We, we want to see the faith communities active and involved. We want to see these communities connecting and working together. The work that we do in, in the city is tremendous from food banks to uh, shelters to programs that we run for seniors and children and youth. And we are calling on the city to match us, to come up and to start upping their game as well. And that we will commit to do more and to be more involved if they will commit as well. We're calling them, all of us, to up our game. And so this is a, um, a rallying call. We've, been, we've asked many of you, and many of you have signed it. We would encourage you not only to sign it here, but also sign it online, because that will actually count and register your vote. And what we would like to do at this point is to present this, uh, this uh, charter and action plan to a couple of members of city council, who will then be taking it to, uh, to the city council as part of, uh, part of the, the community appeal. On this, and so I would like to invite Sarah Seth and Joe Mahevic uh, to come forward, and I would like to invite all the members of the steering council, please, uh, the steering committee. So Anila, Michael, and so on behalf of faith, the city and the many faith communities uh, across across Toronto, we want to present you as with this our faith charter, which is our pledge to the city of Toronto that we are your partners. We are with you, we will work with you for the benefit of all of the citizens of the city of Toronto. So, here you go. <laughs> Thank you, um, this is great. Uh, Sarah and I, are, I think we're gonna present it next week. We have a city council meeting here, and there's a period during the meeting where we are allowed to present the petition. So we will present this as a petition to council next week. Now I know that Faith in the City, I was party to some of the emails going back and forth, put a lot of sweat and tears into this, uh, into this statement. Um, and uh, you know, wearing my theology hat, it's good theology. And I know that they worked with community organizations. It's also very good public policy, addressing everything from public transit to childcare to accessibility for community programs, recreation programs, student nutrition programs, and all the good things that the city can do and do better to up our game around our part around poverty alleviation. So this is, uh, you're watching our back. You did a great job a couple of years ago when we had that debate around the casino. Uh -huh. And I'll tell you, my bottom line is that when, if the faith communities in Toronto issue an ethical call out, you can change the world. You can change the face of the city of Toronto. You did it the, with the casino thing, and this is contributing to another important issue that we need to grapple with as a city. So we'll take this on your behalf, the city council. Thank you very much.